Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve. Uh, it is evening. I'm running back home. I just got hissed at by a spider. Um, this was nice. Thankfully, it didn't chase me. Maybe it was hissing at a uh, a pigman. Sure hope it was. Um, and now we're just about to do the run through of our traps just before we get home. Hoping it's caught something. Well, that's a, a no go on trap one. I think I have to eat one of our berries. No, no go on all three traps. They just... Ugh. <laughs> they just do not want to be caught today. Right. We are going to go home, make ourselves our crock pot. Um, which we can't actually do much with at the moment. Oop, seeds. Thank you. Ah. See, if I hadn't got hungry then, if I had those seeds a little earlier, I could have shown you the crock pot in action, but as it happens, we're going to have to make do with just cooked berries for today. Why aren't you going down? Hang on, sorry. Let me just uh, get some fuel on here so it doesn't... It goes a night without me even. Oh, there we go. Didn't want to play ball before. Crock pot. There you go, look at it. <laughs> Who would you got there? I can refine meats and vegetables into more robust forms. So yeah, we could if we had four. Put four berries in there. Get a full berry meal going on, but... It won't accept seeds. Um, if I remember correctly. Um... And that gives you a handful of jam, I think. Which is really good. Really healing. Gives you loads of food. So we have to keep an eye out for, for anything we can use in there. If we, We've found very few carrots, actually. As if we find carrots and jam, I think, and berries. Uh, I mean, you can get, like, ratatouille or something going on. Uh, same if you put, like, a morsel in there. You get different stuff, like meat and veg. Like that. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, and once we actually... <laughs> get somewhere it'll be very handy indeed but at the moment we're just struggling because none, none of our traps seem to be working first of all then don't just don't want to go in there um, I guess we have to lay down we have sp probably supposed to bait it but obviously I, I don't have the food necessary to bait the traps at the moment um, I'm just hoping one of them stumbles into it by accident um and yeah, we're going to have to figure out what the hell we're going to do from now on. We've got a small network of berry bushes coming together. Um, I guess we can explore more over the right and, and up there. There's loads of berry bushes up there. We've got two manure so we can like grab some berry bushes from far away and bring them back. Here's what I think I might do. Because uh, there's two berry bushes up there in that top green land. That's pr probably going to be tomorrow's task, is to run up there. By tomorrow I mean in about a second or two time. <laughs> because the night is very short. There we go. So let's straight away continue running up. I, what, I guess that's fireflies or busting around there. Fair enough. So let's begin the long jaunt to Berryland. <laughs> oh, which involves running into a tree apparently. So is it over and round, or can we cut through this way? No, we have to go round. Bit of a pain. The island's kind of dissected like this, but... Very industrious in there. Seeds. <laughs> yeah, if you hit those bees' nests, you get very angry soldier bees coming after you. I'm uh, not really equipped to handle... Soldier bees right now. Oh, trees are growing up. Let's get that lovely garland going on, I think. It will look pretty for Berryland. There we go. Yay! And you can see it's kind of boosting my sanity. Hey, Piggly. You built your house on the web. I know you want to connect to the World Wide Web, but this is not the way to do it, mate. 
So we've got two manure, so we can carry back two bushes for our own use. There's three on the way there. And follow the road. I wonder what this leads down to. Does it just kind of dissect the uh, green area, the exit running through there? Okay, we'll come back to that. Oh, there's a berry bush. We'll have jam tonight, lads. There's another. <laughs> A lot of weird rumblings going on, isn't there? Hey lads, don't mind me. Something is coming. Oh shit, I think that might mean the... Uh, a big monster is coming. In which case we want to get the fuck out of its way because it will kill us. Let's hope it just stomps over some pigmen instead of us, eh? I can hear it. Let's leave it far behind. Hopefully, it decides to stomp over someone else. Oh, it's over the left hand side as well now. It's everywhere. I've got enough for a torch in case I need to run. I better look for some twigs in case it drives me out of my home. Because we may have to spend the night holding a torch. Because you'll soon see these fuckers are not to be messed with. Gary's getting close. Oh god, I have to go that way. These giant monsters are usually the end of me. Something is coming, yep, yeah, I know. Believe me, I'm uh, well aware of that. Ah! Ow, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, see what I mean? Wolves, man. But I respawned back here. Very low sanity. And no equipment. Which, yeah, usually means fuck. The fuck? Shiny green. Seems I have none of my gear. <laughs> but it actually filled me up on food, so I mean, thanks. I guess. If they're still hanging around my body, then. Let's have a poke, I guess. I died near my snare. Let's see where all my gear is. See if they've buggered off, because it's morning again. No, nope, they haven't buggered off. Oh god. Oh god. This is gonna go badly. No, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, wolves, man. So I have nine days. <laughs> well then. I thought it was going so well as well. No, I didn't actually. It was going terribly. Um, but, yeah. I'm not going to give up. Josh Blackburn does not give up that easy. I'm going to try again. This time I'm going to be... Did I even toggle Rough the Giants and Shipwrecked? I thought. Huh. Well, I've toggled Shipwreck, so I wasn't actually playing Shipwreck. Never mind. Let's try Shipwreck then. <laughs> and we'll, we'll play as... Let's stick with the basic friend. The gentleman scientist known as Wilson. I will conquer it all with the power of my mind. And he grows a magnificent beard, so... Now that we've blown it there... Everything default, yep. Not being fucked over. 
Let's try shipwrecked. Insinuating flotsam. Reticulating something from inserting vast ocean. Earning a keen sense of desertion. Generating buckets and buckets of doubloons. In beginning. Iterating upon the philosophobia. That's fear of deep water. Okay, this looks very shipwrecked to me. Nice sailing! That's all you got to say. Part of a wrecked ship. Okay, can I pick up any of this debris? Seashell. Sea refuse. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is shipwrecked. Good god, we're going to need to get off this island soon. I could fill a pail with all those snails. So was that just a joke? Good on you, Wilson. You're keeping your spirits up in these trying times. Seeds. Old faithful seeds. At least now we're human again. We're not going to get fucking wrecked by rain. Ooh, a coconut. Coconut. Best we've got to find a way to crack that shit. Oh, oh you cram some seeds down your mouth. It requires a large nut hacker. <laughs> how do we crack open a coconut? And how do we put some lime in it as well? Right. What do I need? A machete. Fucking sweet. Uh, pickaxe. What I want. We need two more flint. We got enough wood. I think we'll probably build a boat soon. Log raft. Boat at your own risk. <laughs> well, that's better than nothing. If there's flint on another island, we're going to need to go there. Alright. Oh, it looks like the days are longer in shipwrecked as well. Right. Hack apart this. Nope. Only inspect it. What is suspicious pile? Better stay out of my shoes. <laughs> okay, so this island's good for wood, but... We really use flint so we can get some stone. Oh, thanks for the seeds. Because we don't have much in the way of food either. Ugh. Viney bush. Bamboo patch. Looks pretty sturdy. Ah, there we go. Good to know you're still in there. Inspect. That tree needs a haircut. Thank you, Wilson. Your sage advice there. It's pretty sturdy. It's all viney. <laughs> Once again, Wilson, you are laying down some truth bombs on the world. Okay, so this island's actually pretty, pretty big for a starter island, I think. But I've only played shipwreck once, and I got sighted on a really tiny island, so but we've got vaguely what we need. Crab it, crab it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ah, yeah, bugger. I wonder where that crab it went. <laughs> Should have known better to attack a crabbit. It's homeland. Okay, so we can get some stone now. Hopefully build a base of sorts. I guess we can take stuff back to this island unless we can find a better island. Ooh, limpets. I didn't realize you could pick them. Nice. They're doing alright. Look how long the day is as well. Shit. Oh, where are you going, dude? I wanted you to hit that boulder. Maybe we can build you a more permanent raft right off the bat. Let's see what kind of raft options. Let's browse through the raft options. Oh, okay, basic raft. Totally sort of seaworthy. We need a science machine. Uh, I don't think we're going to have much luck on that front. We will some me, old pal. At least we've got plenty of limpets. We need gold. And we didn't have to search far for flint as well. Gods be praised. It wouldn't fit in my pocket. No. What? Okay. I'm already liking Wilson more than Robot Man. <laughs> Robot Man's flint finding abilities were limited at best. Bah. Come back, Toucan. I 
think we've explored pretty much all of this place. Can't see any gold rocks around. We're going to have to make ourselves a, a basic raft in the morning, I think. Let's see what the sea can see, see, see. Alright, let's get ourselves another pick. It's a bit late to go rafting now, I think. <laughs> There's the crabbit then. I will destroy you, crabbit. Yeah. Damn you, crabbit. Let me kill you, boy. Force of habit. I think I'm now addicted to seeds. Okay, so we've got some limpets, some berries. We've got enough to get ourselves up to a decent strength. We've got enough for a basic fire, and we yeah, don't want to make a proper fire yet. I'm sure we can't, like, attack this debris or anything and get some wood out of it. I think we get some, like, refined wood out of this. What a swizz. Palm leaf. I'm fond of these fronds. <laughs> Might as well pick up some seeds. That's getting a bit low. Doesn't need to be a big fire though. You haven't got a very long night, have you? Yes, you can't cook them up. Can you cook the limpets? Yeah. Let's cook the berry and uh, I guess save the limpets. We want to kind of ration our food a bit more than we were doing before. We were kind of scoffing down everything. But he does get hungry quick. Right, what do we need for the basic laugh, uh, raft? We need more wood. And more grass. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Wood's everywhere. And grass is pretty common around this island as well. And then we'll sail over to the next island and hope there's some gold we can get there. So we can get a proper... Science machine up and running. Ah, it's getting a bit low. Okay, there you go. That should last you until morning, I think. Seeing as the days uh, when shipwrecked seemed fairly quick. Nights, even. The days seem long, is what I meant to say. I'm saying everything backwards today. I'm having a backwards day. Might as well cook you up and eat you. Save our limpets. Om nom, om nom. Doo doo doo. Looks like we can add you in there. A bit of fuel. Must get very cold out here. With just the ocean around you, imagine that breeze. Ooh. And we'll be definitely be growing a huge beatnik beard by the end of this. If we're lucky, if we survive that long. So you act out where you start hacking in the morning. It's weird how you don't need to sleep as well, Wilson. I mean, judging by the things around your eyes, you haven't slept in a couple of years. <laughs> You've got panda eyes for days, mate. Alright. Come on, morning. Come on and take me home. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, takes ten licks to get through a palm tree. Oop. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and we'll need to cut you down as well. Our axe should be good for it. You take a bit longer because you've got coconuts. Ow! That, that kills people, you know. It's like... Six deaths a year, or whatever the fuck, from coconuts being dropped on people's heads. <laughs> hey, Tukin. Oh, that's swift. <laughs> All that's left after the fire has done its job. And what a good job it did. Right, let's get some more grass. I want to get a raft up as soon as, so we can start exploring. And that should be it for our shitty first raft. Log raft. Boat at your own risk. <laughs> hey, it's been good enough for people for millennia. There we go. Thank you. Inspect. That looks sort of boat-like. Drive. Okay. 
go due south. That message in a bottle over there. <laughs> what does it say? Someone wrote me a note. Okay. Read. Okay. <laughs> it's a note on a map. X marks the spot. Pirate treasure. Ooh, I can't wait to get pirate treasure. Okay. Oh god, those are scary waters. I think my uh, don't think my raft's gonna do well in that. Let's stick to non-scary waters for the moment. See if we can find another uh, <laughs> island surrounded by calm waters. Mussels. Why don't they the mussels from Brussels? Wobster. That Wesco is sleeping. Oh, some ferns. Seaweed, even. Hey. Don't know if we can eat that or what. We can eat it. <laughs> well, let's explore the calmer water. Dogfish. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, dogfish. I ain't got it in for you yet. Yet. <laughs> Guess we got enough like food and stuff to survive another night in our island if we need to. I would just rather find another island to have a fun time exploring, but we'll probably have to do that next time. So I shall say thank you so much for watching as I float around here. Uh, if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.